Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Man, it's here. So, Justin Turner was pulled from the World Series for testing positive for COVID-19. He then returns to the field to celebrate and is now being investigated by MLB. So let's get into it. What a wacky 2020 season, first off. Uh, we start the year with Juan Soto testing positive an hour before opening day on national television. And we end with Justin Turner testing positive literally a, a few minutes before the end of the final game of the season. He's pulled from the game, so he isn't able to celebrate the final out. Then he returns to the field about an hour after the game alongside his wife. He poses for pictures near the pitcher's mound with the commissioner's trophy. He's then approached by MLB security, but he doesn't listen. He decides to stay on the field. So how does this all happen? Uh, let's go over it. So first, the league said that officials received word of Turner's positive test during the game, which prompted them to order the Dodgers to remove Turner from the game. The team was informed during the seventh inning, and Turner was then replaced at third base in the eighth inning. Now, Turner wasn't on the field for the Dodgers trophy presentation, but he later celebrated with the team. As the team gathered for a photo with the trophy, he sat down, he removed his mask, and he smiled for the camera. So here are some quotes from MLB. They said, Turner was placed into isolation for the safety of those around him. However, following the Dodgers' victory, it is clear that Turner chose to disregard the agreed-upon joint protocols and the instructions he was given regarding the safety and protection of others. While a desire to celebrate is understandable, Turner's decision to leave isolation and enter the field was wrong and put everyone he came into contact with at risk. When MLB security raised the matter of being on the field with Turner, he emphatically refused to comply. The commissioner's office is beginning a full investigation into this matter and will consult with the Players Association within the parameters of the Joint 2020 Operations Manual. Now, since that game, both teams and families have been tested multiple times and only one Rays family member so far has tested positive. Wowzers. I, I get made fun of a lot when I say that, but I, I don't know any other words that I can use on here. So we'll use wowzers. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And this is going to be something that I don't think everyone is going to agree on. I know everyone's not going to agree on this, but let's get into some of these topics and answer a couple of questions. So the first thing is, how did a test result come back that late in the game? That's the first thing I thought of. How, how are we finding out about this in the seventh inning? of the World Series. So generally the league receives the reports from one day's test before the game has started the next day. The results from Turner's Monday test were received during the game Tuesday because the lab had apparently flagged something irregular um, and ran two tests on that sample. And at that point the league ordered the lab to run immediate tests on the sample submitted Tuesday which came up positive. MLB learned of an inconclusive test result from Turner in the second inning of the game. So the league expedited the processing of the pending test, the one that was taken earlier Tuesday. And then the game continued with Turner playing until they found out in the seventh inning that it had indeed come back positive. Now, thankfully, the Dodgers won last night because who knows what happens moving forward with the Dodgers, with the Rays. What would have happened if the Rays had won? and there had to be another game played, it would have been really, really interesting to see how this all played out. And I've got to believe, no matter how many precautions are taking place, the players are close to each other all game long, whether they're in the field, but especially when they're in the dugout. Um, and so hopefully no one else tests positive, but if Turner's test is an actual positive test and it's not a false positive, I find it hard to believe that nobody else on that field is going to come back uh, with a positive test. Now let's talk about Turner returning to the field for a second. This is a tricky subject. I know people are going to be heated both ways. First thing is I hope Turner and his family and everyone else that's involved in the World Series game is okay and remains okay. I do, I do feel bad for Turner in this situation. You work your whole life to win a World Series to celebrate on the field with your team. How many of us have, at least I know I have, dreamed of you know that final out in the World Series and jumping around and celebrating with your teammates? Hell, I did it in Little League. It was like the greatest feeling in the world. I remember that moment like it was yesterday. 
and this is the World Series, and he's such an integral part of the team, and you know, I feel bad that he couldn't experience it with his teammates. Now, with that being said, as much as, you know, probably half the people in the comment section are going to say that the you know, virus doesn't affect a high percentage of people, well, it does affect people and affects some people in a very serious way. And so I think ultimately you need to follow, the, the rules are in place, the protocol is in place, you need to follow the protocol, whether you feel great, uh, you don't have symptoms, et cetera, right? It sucks, absolutely. And it's probably a lot easier said than done than when you're in that situation, you've waited your whole life for it, and then someone tells you 30 minutes before you win the World Series that you have to leave the field and you can't celebrate with your, te with your teammates. I mean, I, I can only imagine how hard that is. But again, when you're talking about safety of other people, you've got you've to follow, follow the rules. So that's everything. Let me know if, uh, what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, I know this topic can get people pretty heated. Try not to kill each other down there. Um, but let me know if I missed anything, left anything out. Um, I'm sure there's more information coming out today and will continue to come out over the next few days. So that's all we have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we will talk to you later.